Hello my beauties! Today I'm going to share with you everything that I enjoyed in the month of May. The very first thing is my tea me tea. Oh my god, as you guys probably know that I'm obsessed with tea, right? So this time I ordered the tea me tea in both Focus and Alive. So I've been drinking this at work and it is really good because basically not only do you need to focus and be alive at work, like it also tastes good. So it's in like it basically has replaced me drinking water at all. Um, so I just wanted to quickly show you how it's packaged. It comes in a packet like this. You get about 20 tea bags um, in the Focus and 15 tea bags in the Alive. So the Alive one is great for like first thing in the morning, nice and bright. Um, it has like a spicy sweetness to it. It's not too overpowering. It's not too like sweet or anything like that. I just like how it kind of gives you that hint, you know, wake me up kind of thing. It does have a little bit of ginger in there, so I like it for that time of the month as well. It kind of gives me that energy, that revitalization that you need. Got vitamin A, it's got calcium, vitamin C, iron. It does have a bit of um, caffeine in there. It's got ginger, honey, lemongrass, and green tea. This one has more of like a peppermint taste. Um, so this is great for if you're like, you have to be on the computer, you've got to focus, you've got to write an essay, or if you've got to do something that you need to basically put all of your mind and energy into. This one is great also for after big meal. So it helps to kind of like, I don't know, digest that food and then focus on what you need to focus on. This one contains yerba mate leaf, gua yasua leaf, peppermint leaf, asam black tea, ginseng, guava seeds, goji berries, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium and iron. So there's a lot of good stuff in here as well. I pretty much drink this like religiously at work. So I'm trying to stay focused all the time. And so basically what I do is grab a tea me cup, pop the tea bag in. I do about like half hot water and then I do the other half um, just room temperature or cold water just so that I'm not burning myself when I'm drinking it. And then just let that sit for about 15 minutes. Um, and then you just, you can drink it straight away. And then usually I just kind of refill it throughout the day. But pretty much after the second or third one, you kind of need to use a new bag. So this is pretty much what I drink. And it's so cool because it has that filter in the middle. So you're not getting tea leaves all over your mouth. And um, and then you just, I just usually have this in my car. This is the Hoola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So I was subscribed to a lip beauty bag and I was given the first month's um, lip thing and I went crazy. I was like, oh my God, it's pretty much every single color that I would actually wanted and was looking for and they just gave it to me on one little bag. I had to stop it because I just have way too much lip products. It's a liquid lipstick and I pretty much keep this in my bag at all times. So if I'm going out, if I'm trying to change from a day to night look or if I just want to spice up my look a little bit, then I would wear this. Um, it's definitely the purple that I've been looking for. It's just nice and like wearable and it's good for like kind of like cooler days right now, which is what we have at the moment. It dries down that and you don't, it's not transferable and, um, and it stays on all night, even though you're eating or drinking and things like that. It feels really comfortable on the lips, so you're not feeling like it's cakey or heavy. Sometimes you feel like you don't even have anything on the lips. I really like this because it's not an overpowering scent. In fact, the scent is so like subtle that you probably won't even smell it. Um, I like, the, the main thing I like about it is actually the texture. It absorbs into the skin almost immediately. It doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel oily, and it just keeps your hands moisturized without feeling that kind of like, that sticky or icky feeling. Just really, really enjoy it. And I've been really into hand creams lately because it is getting colder here. I was given this and I lost it for the longest time. I could not find it, don't know where it went. And the other day that I was changing like from my summer clothes to my winter clothes, I took out a jacket and it was actually in the pocket of the jacket. So I don't know how it ended up there, but anyways, I finally found it. So the cool thing about this is you can put the paper inside and there's a mirror on top so you can always blot your paper um, on its go. I finished the, the original whatever's in here, so I had to buy another actual touch of papers and just put the refills in for my, like myself, which is fine because really like the touch of papers anyways and um, I just like how it's been packaged like this because then when I go out I just chuck this in my bag because something like this definitely gets lost or um, gets forgotten about and also because it's paper it's probably going to like bend or like get wet or whatever. Ta -da -da -da.
not my Apple Watch because you have seen my Apple Watch. It's actually the band. I don't know if you can see, but this band is called kind of this multicolored look. I got this on eBay. Pretty much matches everything that I wear. Um, I quite like this better than a sports band because a sports band was sometimes getting a little bit more um, sweaty, especially because it's rubber. And then this one kind of gives me that kind of more of a less sporty look and more of a work look. And the fact that it's um, you can adjust the, the size of it is great. And also it's magnetic and the color goes really well so I'm quite happy with it everyone's complimented on already these nougat from cherry um, grandfather my mom went to New York recently and she bought these back and they're like so delicious they have so much flavors like blueberry um, strawberry I like cherry and then obviously the original for you to try but they're just so good they're soft and chewy and just really really delicious so I think that was it so without further ado I'm gonna go straight into the empties the very first thing is a cleanser and this is the new skin clear action foaming cleanser it's got like a white creamy texture you just it's like a press bottle so I like how it's convenient however towards the end of the the product I'm, I'm pretty sure there's still a little bit left in there but I can't pump it out anymore because that nozzle is kind of like congested I'm not too big of a fan of the texture because I feel like it's not really a foaming or lathering cleanser that you would want if you had oily skin this is definitely more of a grainy slash milky slash foaming texture if that makes any sense so i don't think i would repurchase this and i don't really think it made a huge difference to my acne i also finished the new skin clear action night treatment so in the whole basically range of the new skin i had it was the cleanser the toner and then i had like a day and a night um moisturizer this was the night one i prefer the night texture much better than the day one because i think the day one's a more stickier or like tackier i don't know this one is like um, I can smell the I guess salicylic acid in this so this is definitely more of a keep your skin at bay if you're breaking out that type of thing so I use this just basically um, for days and I feel like my skin's starting to break out a little bit and then I will use this just to kind of like hold everything intact it's yellow texture it's quite slimy it's not sticky though a little bit goes a long way so you would only need to use a tiniest little bit and can use it all over your face this is a grown alchemist body cleanser in the chamomile bergamot and rosewood so I got this in like a Christmas pack like a few years ago and I have been like dying to use for a long time and I finally broke it out to use it and I really really like the scent I think the scent is really calming relaxing it's not super foamy which you feel that you need to rinse out completely um, I feel like this is the, definitely the one of those more balanced um, body cleansers that you don't feel like you have to overwash yourself or that you actually still have that um, that clean feeling and also the scent is not overpowering it's not overly sweet or overly like sickening but definitely very calming and soothing I think the fact that it has bergamot and chamomile those two like makes you feel more relaxed and a bit more you know like kind of wind down at the end of the day the only thing I could complain about if I were to complain about this one is the actual pump bottle because when you squirt it I think in your mind you think it's going to squirt diagonally 45 degrees and be like this is where my hand should be so I squirt it like this no it for some reason sometimes it squirts like 90 degrees so I have to like literally like cover the whole opening so in case when I squirt it it doesn't squirt all the way out there so that's the only thing I can complain about but other than that I love it it's economical it's huge it's I think it's definitely well within the budget range and I feel like I've had this for a long time and it really washes really well Clarence daily energizing cleansing gel with morninga extract I've never even heard of this I like gel cleansers I like the fact that it's um, bright it's quite refreshing it's like a tiny little bit lathers up really well it washes my face nice and clean I don't break out from it everything is fine like nothing to complain about if you guys have already tried it and you guys love it as well let me know Ellen Rose regenerate purified acne cream I've used Ellen Rose products and I really really like it however the only downside is it's hard to buy from your local shops because they don't stock it anywhere when I use this on top of my two serums it feels quite oily I feel like it's almost not being absorbed into my skin um, and it kind of feels almost like sticky and just like really wet but when I've had when I've actually used this by itself I feel like the texture is quite nice it absorbs into skin almost immediately um, it doesn't leave your skin greasy or oily and I feel like it gives you that sort of more like a protective film okay moving on to hair I have this one which is the extraordinary oil it lasts you a long time what I didn't like about it it was it's quite thick in texture so I feel like my hair doesn't really absorb it that much and also because it's so thick it 
um, makes my hair feel greasier a lot quicker so I've actually stopped using it um, for a while I wanted to get this because it was saying that it's very comparable to Kerastars but when I as soon as I tried the texture it's just completely different so I don't think it's actually comparable to, to Kerastars at all this one my mum refilled it with a orangey whatever hand wash but the original one is by Morton Brown and it's the lime and patchouli so the actual original color was green I don't know why so when I like sounds my bathroom I'm like oh thanks mom you've obviously have repurposed it already before I even try to show it to everyone I like that it's not overpowering I like how it's just nice and subtle it makes you feel like you really want to wash your hands so I really liked it and I really really recommend it however obviously being that it's a price range I don't think it's something that you would you know buy all the time the texture of it is also one of the reasons why I, re I would recommend it because it's not overly greasy not overly foamy the YSL um, fusion ink cushion foundation the case is reusable so all i have to do is just buy another refill if you wanted something to give you full coverage this is not the foundation for you this has become my new favorite thing and my new go-to foundation as of late it's cushion foundation which means it's easy just pat 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 and go i like that gives you kind of this almost like a no makeup makeup look which i really like at the moment so i really like how the finish of it i like the texture I like everything about it, I like the packaging, I like it's lightweight. This is the Georgia Money Wet Eye um, Mascara that I purchased when I was in New York last year. Really like it, I think it does definitely delivers on, um, on like plumpness of the eyelashes. So if you don't have any lashes, this will make you look like you have lashes. Um, the holding power, like how, how well it holds the curls, maybe I would give it like a 7 out of 10. The only thing about this is that they have deep price tag. Um, I know that you can't get the wet version in Australia because apparently they've reformulated or rebranded or I don't know but um, I think the waterproof version will be better at holding your curls compared to the normal version. NARS concealer in medium custard. This is actually in the stick formula so not the creamy concealer that everyone knows about. Um, I like to keep stick formulas on me just in case for like stubborn like kind of like I don't know discoloration things I need to cover because sometimes not, not always the liquid ones will cover everything you need to cover I have been using this one for under eyes and I love it either apply straight on leave it for like a minute or two and then I'll like blend it in or what I do is I put on my fingertips and then I blend it in straight away Kalas eyelash adhesive in clear I have used their their adhesive eyelash gl um, glue in black loved it and I wanted to try the clear also formula fantastic it holds your lashes it's pretty much waterproof. I haven't been using eyelash um, for a long time, so a part of it has dried up, which means that's why I have to throw this out. So other than that, everything is great. There's not much um, glue on around the opening, which is the good thing, but because I was always worried about having it like stuck into the bottle, which you can't pull it out. So that is all of my empties of the month of May, which is pretty crazy. And I hope if you if you guys have any questions about any of these products, leave your comments below, or you can just. Um, Snapchat me and ask me and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye!